Hello everybody. So today we'll be looking at some of the units in the Company of Heroes 3 pre-alpha files uh, using a modified archive viewer from Company of Heroes 2 by uh, Jani252. Uh, he basically reverse engineered the Company of Heroes 3 archive viewer. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, credits go to him, obviously. I will link in the description how you can actually do this for yourself as well if you want to take a look at the files. And <clears throat> if somebody can actually help reverse engineer the rest of the tools, we can actually mod the game while it's in the pre-alpha state <laughs> and have some fun. You know, maybe we can play as the Germans or something. Anyway, on to uh, the video. So, yeah. Using the archive viewer, I went to the, as you can see, the address here, uh, archives adrib dot sj, uh, sja. So click on here, here, here. Then we go to sbps, which means squad, backpack, something. Then we go to races. And then we go to American. So American, uh, America is the first uh, race folder. So starting with the aircraft, we have the B-25J bomber, a couple of more variants, C-47 Douglas. This was a transport uh, plane for the airborne. Uh, I-2 Grasshopper. I have no idea about this plane. Maybe it's a biplane. I'm not entirely sure. I've never heard of it before. I'm not really a plane type of guy, more about tanks. <laughs> uh, P-47 Thunderbolt, obviously very famous plane. It was also in both previous Company of Heroes 2, um, previous Company of Heroes games. Moving on to campaign folder, have the aircraft again. Uh, these are abilities, of course, or entities, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then we have detachments, where the, which are the campaign, actually production uh, units, I believe. RD, engineers, medic, rifleman, sniper, weapons. Uh, these are the team weapons, of course. Uh, companies, so these are the different companies you're able to choose while in the campaign. You have commandos, which are, you know, special operations. Uh, armored, infantry, paratroopers, spec ops. Then we have naval, which are uh, the ships that you can actually use in the campaign. Uh, then we have the manpower and supply ship. Uh, these are, yeah, again, part of the naval, uh, sorry, naval uh, folder, I think. No, actually, they're not. Uh, I have no idea then. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, emplacements, uh, base defense, These, this is the MG nest that protects your spawn, basically. HMG fighting position, again, this is in code 2, I believe, or code 1, because the model is closer to the code 1. Uh, howitzer 105, it's back in this game. It wasn't in the previous game for some reason. Then you have a mortar pit, which is a brand new unit for the US, actually. Maybe it's part of a defensive doctrine or something. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the model yet. Then we have gameplay, crew, uh, crew team weapon, generic. Yeah, these are uh, so. Computer 3 actually features a new base building system where you actually select uh, for, from your HQ. You actually uh, automatically build uh, buildings instead of having your engineering units to build it. Uh, you select where you want to build a, the place to building and then some engineer guys jump out and start building it instead. It, it makes more sense than the buildings coming out of the ground. Uh, then we go to infantry, bazooka team, uh, captain, engineer, infantry, parent. Uh, don't mind this. This is not what you're thinking. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Marksman. So uh, there's going to be Italians, and these are, uh, these are it. The Germans, from what I understand, have Italian units, you know, regular army units. The Allies use mostly partisans like this. Then we have the Medic, Paratrooper, Pathfinders, engine, uh, Rangers, Resistance Fighters, again, Italian partisans. Riflemen, Saboteurs, once again, Italians, uh, 
Italians, Italian partisans, scouts, sniper, SSF commandos. I have no idea. I think this might actually be the Devil's Brigade. I'm not entirely certain about that. And moving on to team weapons, 57 mil gun, obviously, classic. Uh, 30 cal, this is actually the M1919A4. This is not the previous Browning or the 50 caliber machine gun from the previous game. This is entirely new unit for Company of Heroes. Um, it has the tripod uh, that's closer to the ground, and it's an air-cooled machine gun, which was the most produced and most used uh HMG by uh, the US. Mortar, uh, again from the previous game, the M M1, I believe, 81mm uh, mortar. Then we have the pack howitzer again for the previous game. Then we have the vehicles, some new additions here. Ambulance, I believe it's actually the same model as the previous game, or it's using the British uh, model, I'm not entirely sure. We have the Shafi uh, light tank, which was actually used in 1945, so it's a bit historically inaccurate for Italy, but it is here. Command half track, I'm guessing this is some sort of officer unit that buffs uh, other units around it. So, yeah, a new addition to the American faction or army, whatever you want to call it. Uh, GMC truck, this is again a new unit for the U.S. And Cumber Heroes, I'm guessing this is a transport truck, a regular version. Then you have the Greyhounds, M8, classic unit, of course. This half track 75mm. This is actually, I believe, the AT version of the M3 half track, which is again an entirely new unit. Uh, half track assault. I believe this is, this is an M3 half track that comes with uh, a Ranger squad or something, uh, garrison already inside. I am not, I'm not entirely sure because I've, I've never actually seen it in the game yet, at least. Then we have the medical half-track, which I'm guessing it's an ambulance, but half-track instead of truck. Half-track quad, this is the M16 variant uh, with the AA uh, quad uh, 50 calibers. Um, yeah, classic unit once, once again. Half-track US, this is I believe the regular M3 half-track. Hellcat, it's back. It's uh, it's one of my favorite uh, U.S. tanks actually. I really loved spamming it in the first Company of Heroes. It was really fun and cheap. Uh, it also has a 50 caliber machine gun as well, so it's not entirely uh, useless against you know enemy infantry as the M10, for example. Jeep, it's I, I think I believe this is the Willis Jeep, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I I haven't used it yet. Uh, Lee M3, this is the M3 Lee tank, medium tank, that was used in Africa before the Sherman actually entered service. Uh, logistics truck, again, same as the GMC, I believe. This just uh, increases resources or something, I'm guessing. I have i haven't seen it. M M20 utility car, uh, again, from the previous game. N29 Rezo, uh, this is a tractor which can transport uh, infantry units, I believe. I'm not sure if it can reinforce, I haven't tried it out yet. Priest, uh, yeah, again, uh, like the previous game. Recovery vehicle, this is actually interesting because I don't know what this does. I haven't tested it out, I haven't seen it in the game, I'm not even sure if it's implemented yet. Uh, I'm guessing maybe it functions like the Panzer Lead uh, Burger Tiger which recovered uh, destroyed friendly wrecks so maybe I'm not sure Scott uh, M8 Scott obviously howitzer motor carriage from the previous game Sherman Bulldozer again from uh, classic unit from both previous games Easy 8 is back as well Sherman this is the M4A1 variant with the 75 millimeter gun uh, this is the standard version of the Sherman. Sherman Whizbang. Uh, this is sort of like the Calliope with the rocket rack on top. At least it functions similarly, but I believe there was a difference. I'm not entirely sure though uh, what, what what that was exactly. I, I think it might have actually used bigger rockets than the Calliope. Again, uh, I, I don't really know about this variant that much. 
Uh, then we have the steward. I believe this is the M5 uh, version, not the M3, but I, I haven't really noticed the model. Then we have vehicle pair, and again, just uh, don't mind this. Moving on to the British, we have aircraft, uh, Hawker Typhoon from the previous game. Campaign, attachments, uh, same thing as the US. Or not exactly, you have the guard and uh, I think one more. Anyway, moving on. Uh, these are currently the only available uh, British companies in the pre-alpha, but I'm guessing there's going to be more when the game releases, obviously. Moving on to emplacements, we have the base defense, this is the bunker that protects your spawn again. Uh, Bofors emplacements, back, obviously classic. Howitzer, again, we have it from Code 1, uh, back in this game. Howitzer base, so this is this is actually different. This is unbuildable, this spawns with your HQ, like in Code 2. This you actually build with your engineers, or sappers. This is a new gun. I believe this is a 150 millimeter, but I'm not entirely sure. 155 actually. I haven't seen the model of it yet. Uh, maybe it's buildable. I'm not sure. Then we're moving on to gameplay. Uh, yeah, again the base uh, base building uh, models. Uh, with team weapon generic. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Uh, I know that the, the British truck actually, which we'll see in a second here, it actually can crew abandoned weapons, which is interesting for 50 man par, which I, again, uh, the price will change obviously when the game is fully released. Now moving on to infantry, Australian light infantry. So we got Aussies here, Canadians, commandos, guards. These are the Highlanders. Uh, Gurkhas, Indian infantry, I believe. Uh, infantry parent, just yeah, don't mind this. Uh, medics, sapper, SAS squad, uh, special air services, uh, commandos, basically. Well, not exactly commandos, I guess there's a difference. Uh, sniper, Tommy, this is the regular uh, British infantry. Then we have the team weapon. So apparently a mobile version of the 17 pounder, which is interesting to say the least. I wasn't really expecting this, but we'll see how it works, I guess. Uh, two pounder, this I believe is an Africa uh, front unit because this is a 40 mil and they were primarily used on the African front. Um, so yeah. Six pounder, this is the British version of the 57 mil uh, from the previous game. Both first towed, uh, this is actually suggesting that there will be towing in the game, which I haven't really seen or heard about. So maybe it's something experimental, or it might actually be in the final version of the game. No idea. Only time will tell, I guess. HMG commandos, so basically like in the first game where you actually had a uh, HQ glider that you can call in from the, the Commando Doctrine and you could get Commando uh, team weapons from there. HMG Vikers or Vickers, whatever you want to call it, um, MG Squad. Mortar, a first in this game for the British. Finally, they have a mobile mortar team. I, I will admit I was really crying to Relic for this. Uh, for years in Cumber Heroes 2 and finally they, they heard my pleas and I would guess uh, other people's pleas. So yeah, thank you to Relic for actually adding this and listening to us finally. Then we have a mortar, uh, heavy mortar, which is the 4.2 inches uh, heavy mortar, which is 107 millimeter uh, mortar. So basically think like the Soviet HM-38, but British and a bit smaller caliber, not exactly as big. Then we have the, I'm guessing British version of the American pack howitzer. Moving on to the vehicles, we have the Archer, which is based on the Valentine chassis from what I remember reading. However, it was turned uh, around, so basically the gun is actually aiming at the back and the driver is at the front, which 
basically the, the the vehicle drives backwards it fires backwards uh it's it's hard to explain but i really recommend uh looking these vehicles up it's it's really interesting it mounts the 17 pounder that's that's why it actually uh they needed to turn it around basically bishop uh again i believe this is again based on the valentine chassis but i'm not entirely sure uh, maybe it's on the Crusader actually. Uh, it basically features a 25 pounder in a box mount, is a mobile self propelled uh, art artillery. Centaur, again, either on the Valentine chassis or the Centaur. I, I think it's on the uh, Crusader uh, chassis, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't really. Uh, I haven't read about uh, a lot about the African front, so yeah. Churchill 17 uh, 75 millimeter. I'm guessing this is the mark 7 variant of the tank like in the previous game uh, Black Prince uh, This was actually an experimental tank Which was a Churchill with a 17 pounder gun fitted in a new turret uh, and the Churchill chassis was actually expanded uh, And they actually fitted a new Actually, they didn't. They couldn't fit a new engine, or they didn't fit a new engine, and that's why it was unsu unsuccessful. Basically, it was very uh, not as maneuverable as the regular Churchill, so they kind of abandoned the project, and it never really saw service in the war. But I guess Relic just decided to add it for some reason, so that's that. Churchill Crocodile, like in the previous two games, Churchill UK, uh, this is the the two-pounder version of the tank, actually, I think, I believe it's the Mark III, uh, which has, again, two-pounder is a 40-millimeter gun, it was mostly used in Africa, however, it's featured in the Italian front as well, for some reason. Then we have the Command Churchill, which, again, uh, an officer sort of unit that has uh, a buff aura uh, around it which uh, gives combat bonuses to units around it i'm guessing i i haven't seen it in the game yet maybe it's not implemented crusader 57 millimeter uh so i believe the crusader was originally armed with uh, again the two pounder gun the 40 millimeter gun and this was better against tanks the 57 millimeter Crusader A8, uh, this features a semi box mount uh, with an open top with, I believe, a bolt force 40mm A8 uh, in it. Uh, then we have the regular Crusader, which again, two pounder gun uh, or 40mm gun, uh, whatever you want to call it. Then we come to the trucks, and this is actually interesting. I find that. Uh, Trucks and logistics seem to feature a lot more in this game than the previous two computers for some reason, which I kind of like personally, to be honest. Uh, we have the quad mount, which uh, I believe this is the Maxon, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I haven't seen it in the game. Uh, this is an AA vehicle, basically. Uh, think of it like the M3, M16 uh, AA half track, but truck and for the British. Uh, this is the ambulance of the British uh, medical truck. Then we have the truck repair supply. Uh, I believe this is like the US logistics truck where maybe you can set it up on a resource node or uh, to get more resources or you can repair vehicles with it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen it. Truck, this is the regular vehicle that can transport and maybe reinforce infantry. I, I think I read somewhere that uh, in the game that it, it can actually reinforce infantry as well. So yeah, pretty useful However, it's of course fragile obviously and then go armored car uh, This was a scout vehicle, which I believe was mostly used in Africa. I'm not entirely sure however Grant uh, this was the m3 grant which was the British version of the m3 Lee mostly in service in Africa and uh, in Asia and um, the the British campaigns there uh, earlier in the war uh, and 
Yeah, that's that's basically it. It was it was not really used in Italy at all. <laughs> Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, half track M3. So this is basically the British version of the M3 half track. Humber, I believe this is a light armor car, which, again, I I think was mostly used in Africa. I'm not sure though. Uh, same thing with the Marmon Harrington. Uh, I've heard about it, but I think it's yeah, uh, another light or scout car that was only used in Africa or mostly used in Africa. Uh, then we have the Matilda, which was queen, uh, which was dubbed the Queen of the Desert. It was a heavily armored uh, infantry tank that the British used in 1940 during the invasion of France, and then again Africa. I believe this is the Mark II or three. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the model in the game yet. Um, peasant half track. So the peasant would actually. A gun carriage for the 17 pounder which makes me believe that this half track is actually fitted with a AT gun of some sort I'm not entirely sure if it's a 17 pounder though I have never heard of a 17 pounder fitted to a half track so maybe it's just a 57 millimeter gun uh, but I haven't seen the model so I cannot really say much more than that Priest, uh, again, British version of the M7 Priest. I was expecting the Sexton here, but I guess they decided to go with the Priest instead. Uh, Sherman Firefly, classic unit, everybody knows it. Sherman UK, I think this is the M4A4, which was uh, mostly used by the British and Canadian forces. Uh, however, I'm not sure what what the actual in-game model is. Maybe it's the same as the US with the M4A1. Then we have the Stuart, which again, same as the US, it might be the M3 or the M5, not really sure. I haven't really played with the unit yet. Then we have the uh, Valentine, which is, I believe, different than the uh, Mark 10 model used in Computers 2. Uh, I don't really know the differences between the the models uh, even though it's uh, yeah uh, it's an actually sort of famous tank that was used uh, in Africa as well as Italy and a bit in Normandy but not a lot uh, it's it was a infantry a support tank as well or infantry tank uh, heavily armored like the well not not exactly like the church or the matilda was a bit lower i believe but yeah it's an interesting vehicle definitely then we have the vehicle parent which yeah i don't just don't mind it again common uh, we have the these are common i'm guessing these might actually be a basis for new factions i'm, I'm not entirely sure but yeah Casualties, Italian. Uh, these are NPC. No, no, these are not NPC units actually. Uh, so yeah, Italian partisans. On the Allied side, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, these are the actual NPCs. Which, hmm. yeah, th these are the NPCs. Yeah, it wasn't really that uh, interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the Germans uh, aircraft. Uh, Hanko Bomber, Junkers, uh, then we have the Stuka, yep, oh uh, here, then we have the Campaign, Campaign Aircraft, Hanko 111, then we have the Stukas again, Attachments, uh, Jaeger, Pioneer, yeah, standard stuff like the, the, the Allies as well, but obviously they have their own things, Companies, uh, I like we, we cannot really play with the Germans in the pre alpha, so I'm guessing these are experimental armored and mechanized for the Africa Corps, uh, which is gonna feature Rommel it was, uh, as it was teased in the trailer for the game when it was announced, basically. Uh, infantry company, manpower, officer. Um, yeah, these are. Not part of the company folders. Uh, yeah, 
standard stuff, I guess, used by the AI for now at least. Maybe they actually plan on allowing us to play with the German campaign. I'm not sure. This is all speculation on my side, really. We'll just leave it open. Uh, then we have emplacements, uh, 20 mil, and we're getting the 88 back, the flak 88 from the first game, finally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, base defense bunker, HMG bunker. Actually, maybe there's a difference between two, uh, these two. I'm not sure exactly. Then we have the howitzer, uh, 105. Uh, I believe this is the uh, L. EFH18 uh, uh, Howitzer. Uh, this is a Nebelwerfer, I think. Moving on to gameplay. So, yeah, same things as allies. Uh, so, these are Italian infantry, the Berkus. Basically, yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I, I apologize to any Italians. I yeah, my, my Italian pronunciation of their names is not really um, <laughs> that good. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Uh, coastal reserves. I believe these are like uh, Austrian from the previous game. So we have an AT version and a regular version. Foster Magers. Uh, this this is actually interesting. Foster Mager Pioneers, which suggests some sort of builder unit, but airborne, I guess. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe not. I'm, I'm not sure how they will work. Maybe they just build defenses in the field. No idea. Foster Jaeger sniper, pretty interesting again. Uh, Gebers Jaegers, these were mountain troops. Uh, they actually did fight in Italy, and uh, I believe there was a whole uh, company based on them. Or something I remember seeing it somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure though. Then we have the Grenadier Squad, which can merge. Actually, I've uh, uh, in the description in the game it says that they can merge. So this this is actually a feature for the conscripts from the previous game, which is interesting. Uh, Gustatori again. I'm I'm butchering that name. I apologize. I have no idea how it's pronounced. Uh, Italian unit, I'm guessing maybe it's uh, mountain troops or the, the these guys are the mountain troops. I'm I'm not sure. Maybe maybe one is mountain troops, so there is regular infantry. No idea. Jaegers uh, again, like the previous game. Uh, medic, yep. Officer, Panzer Grenadiers. Uh, these are five man uh, squads actually uh, now, or at least in the pre-alpha that is. Pioneers, Pioneers, uh, maybe this is some sort of signaler unit that can call in Artie, like the British uh, recon section, uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works. Snipers, Stormtroopers, uh, yeah, standard. Uh, these, I believe, are for the single player campaign. Uh, these are just variants of the regular infantry units here. We're moving on to team weapons. We have a gun, 20 mil again, uh, pack 40, 75 millimeter gun, AT gun, uh, AT gun, LG 40. I believe this is an Italian unit, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember seeing that uh, model exactly. Or yeah, I cannot really reckon, recognize it at least. Then we have the heavy machine gun, MG, uh, MG 42. Uh, SP means single player, so there's a difference between the multiplayer and the single player uh, one that you face in the game. Uh, Howitzer Canone, the 105. I believe this is again uh, an Italian artillery unit, but I, I haven't seen it, so no idea. But basing it off of the name, it looks like an Italian unit, yeah. Uh, Leg. Uh, Again, this is like the previous game, the infantry support gun of the OKW. Mortar, standard stuff, classic, Neville Werfer. Uh, so, I think this is a mobile variant. Well, this is actually an emplacement, which kind of makes sense since it's an emplacement uh, folder. And team weapon parent, yeah, I just don't, don't mind that. Then we come to the vehicles finally, German vehicles. 
Uh, armored car. This is the eight wheeler German heavy armored car. I believe the model is the SDKFZ <clears throat> uh, 243. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, basically, it was mostly used in Africa, Eastern Front, that sort of thing. They also mounted uh, radio antennas on top of them and uses uh, used them as uh, radio vehicles, basically. <clears throat> Armored car. This is a 221. It's you can see it in the game. Brumbar uh, from the previous game, sometimes called the Stupa or Stern Panzer as well. Uh, Goliath, you know, classic unit, obviously from the first game as well and the second one. Half track uh, again. Like the previous game for the OKW uh, with their flat cap track there. Uh, interesting enough, we get the 251 mortar variant of the half track instead of the 251, like in the previous two games now. Half track, I'm guessing this is the regular 251 half track variant that acts as a transport and um, reinforcement. Uh, Stemo, this is an infantry uh, support version of the half track, uh, which mounted a short barrel uh, 75 millimeter gun. Uh, Kettengrad, we're getting it back from the first game. Uh, these, I'm not sure what they are. Maybe they're Italian flame vehicle, this at least. And this maybe is some sort of a standard Italian tank. Uh, I don't really recognize the the model. Uh, Mario three from the first game from the Panzer Elite. Nash for an entirely new unit. Uh, it it was based on the Panzer three slash Panzer four chassis, like the Hummel from the first game for the Panzer Elite. Again, uh, German trucks, Opel Blitz cargo, which. I'm guessing this is the logistics which can set up on points maybe or actually this this is actually dedicated to fuel no idea uh, this is the regular I'm guessing a truck that can transport and reinforce units medical this is uh, the ambulance then we have the panther panzer 4 command tank again from the previous game regular panzer 4 uh, this is the Aus H, I believe, because of the the side skirts that are featured on the model in the game. I am not entirely sure though, they don't really disclose the model, they just call it the Panzer IV. Recover vehicle. Uh, this again hints at some sort of half track or truck or maybe a Burger Tiger again, uh, which can repair destroyed vehicles. Uh, fun fact actually. The Burger Tiger was actually, it actually never existed. It was a tiger with a destroyed gun. And from what I've read, they replaced the gun with a crane or a winch. And they use it as a demolition vehicle. So they would uh, uh, place uh, demolition charges with the crane or mines or something like that. And for some reason, people think that it was actually used as a recovery vehicle, which I am not entirely sure the winch or the crane was uh, enough to lift even an engine, let alone uh, a tank, you know. <laughs> so, I, again, th th these are just speculations. Uh, anyway, moving on, Stug 3 uh, from the previous game from the Ost here. Tiger, of, of course, the, the most famous tank in the world. Uh, vehicle parent, again, just don't mind this. Wasp, this is a self-propelled artillery vehicle based on the Panzer II chassis, which was elongated a bit with an additional roll wheel. And yeah, uh, basically serves as the German uh, SPG uh, or mobile ar artillery. Which, you know, counter to the Homo and, uh, well, not the Homo, the, the M7 Priest. Uh, the Homo was armed with a 150mm gun. And, again, this is the Nash uh, based on the Panzer III slash Panzer IV chassis. Then we have the Wibberwind, which was a quad 
um, AA gun mounted on a Panzer IV chassis. Uh, we have the Weber one temp. So uh, these are the versions that uh, in the campaign you can capture actually. And yeah, that's uh, really about it for the files. Um, thank you for watching and take care.